What is up guys, it's Grenader here, welcome to another episode of Bringing the Channel Back from the Dead and today we're talking about Photoshop and a $50 alternative that you can use today for free for about a week, but let's get right into it. Okay guys, so this right here is my desktop, I'm using a Mac and I know you guys use Windows, Mac, you know, whatever, but in this case I'm using a Mac and I'm going to show you guys what exactly um, you can do here. So let's go ahead and get started and open Affinity Designer. So Affinity Designer is a program that you can use to edit vectors, edit pictures, do anything you really want to in this case. So let's go ahead and start by just, you know, making something simple like a logo. So uh, once you go ahead and click file new, it'll prompt you with this here. And I mean, I can make it an in-depth video, but today I'm just going to do a demo and so here we have a uh, blank transparent background and let's say we want to make something crazy like a logo so in this case i'm going to do my g logo so basically you do the letter g and you find a good font on the font.com uh let's see so let's say i use i don't know there's a really cool font i think it's this one uh, yeah, so this is the one that I use for my channel and so basically you can stretch it shrink it and the cool thing is that in Affinity Designer since it deals with vectors You can stretch and shrink as big or as small as you want and you won't lose any quality So if I export this just like this, it'll stay like that now if I want to put uh, put this on the billboard or something I would open up a new document and then make it to that size and you know it, it, You can shrink it or make it as big as you want and there won't be any quality loss and so um, that's what you can do with that you can also edit pictures so i'm going to go ahead and show you guys what my thumbnails look like so i open this up here and here it is so this is my thumbnail and i always keep the grenader logo in that upper left corner so that way it just stays like that and basically what i do is i um, change the background picture every time that way i have a more consistent look um, every it's more identifiable if somebody sees this and they're like, whoa, this that looks familiar or whatever. So that's how you do that. Um, let me demonstrate really quick. I mean, it's just like Photoshop. So I mean, it acts just like Photoshop. It looks like Photoshop. Um, I think it's even better than Photoshop because in Photoshop you're dealing with things that aren't vectors. So if you make something to a certain size and you try to stretch it, um, there's no way to keep the quality consistent with that. And also here you can use the pen tool, as you can see here, and you can make shapes like that. And you can move them and make them malleable to your liking. And I mean, there's just so many cool things you can do in here, guys. And I just wanted to bring you guys a little demo just so you guys can see what's going on. And if you're interested, uh, go ahead and click that link in the description, install the trial, play with it. If you like it, then let's go ahead and make a series um and i mean my channel basically started around teaching people how to use photoshop you know adobe all that cool stuff and so i want to get back into that and you know share with the community there's always somebody out there trying to learn trying to become the next big thing on youtube and it would be super cool if i could help you guys be that so um hopefully you guys enjoyed the video go ahead and leave a like and subscribe and if you have any questions leave them in the comments down below and I mean, I'm looking forward to this and making tutorials again. So we'll see where that goes. Thanks for watching. Peace out.